Meantime, a lot of people just trying to deal with this right now. And Laura Borchers joining us now live from Canal Winchester, where that outage is also impacting traffic. Laura? Yeah, Angela, a lot of people around here have questions as to what caused this whole thing. Right now, this Canal Winchester area is seeing thousands of outages and also street lights and stop lights are impacted by this. We have indication that things are changing though, that some of the power is beginning to return. And I wanna show you one example of it right here. When you look just behind me, you can see a stoplight that is out and people are using it as a four way stop. But when you look a little further down, you can see a street light that was out all morning long. Just about two, three minutes ago, we saw that light come back on. So that's a good sign right there. Traffic lights all over this area are out including this intersection and the one at Gender Road and Groveport Road. Street lights out and schools in the area also are dealing with this power outage. They are luckily on a two hour delay, so hopefully uh, power will return to them in time for students to head to class. We've been talking with one resident here who has no power. He also has no heat, obviously. He said that his thermostat now is just barely above 60 degrees. It's getting pretty chilly. South Central Power Company tells us they are on it. They saw the power outage at its height at around 6,100 outages. And then about 10 minutes ago, that was about 5,700. And we've heard just in the last couple minutes that the outage is now around 2,000. They're gonna come, uh, go ahead and call in and talk with us live on air at 645. So we're gonna get another live update coming up in just a few minutes. Stay with us. Reporting live, I'm Laura Borchers, 10TV News.